Hi, welcome to Savor Food and Life, where healthy recipes and great living come together. I'm Mark Daniels, Executive Chef. I have with me Dr. Michael Blanc. How are you doing today, Doc? Doing great, Mark. A great dish today. I, I'm really excited about this. Something different. You know, I'm always trying to, to challenge you and do something different. So, so this, I like it because it's a different technique. You know, we're trying to get more fish in our diet because the data recently about omega-3 fatty acid supplements, you know, fish oil pills, not so good. We're not seeing the same benefits as when you get it actually through your diet. So Direct we're really from the source. get it directly from the source. We're trying to, to do two to three servings of a fatty fish uh, with omega-3 fatty acids uh, a week. And, you know, fish is fish. we got to find a way to dress it up a little bit. And I think this is really a nice technique to dress your fish up. Well, this is a way to kind of to camouflage the fish, right? To, to For people that are not huge uh, seafood lovers that have to have a little fish in their diet, this is a way to kind of get a little crunch, a little potato in it. And so this is, is quite simple, uh, not a whole lot of ingredients, and uh, we'll show them how to get this together so they can do it at their house, and right? We have some halibut here. Halibut's wonderful. This uh, six ounce serving of halibut will have about 220 calories in it, but it also have about 30 grams of protein in it. So it's going to have over half of your protein requirements, and it'll be just loaded with omega-3 fatty acids. This is Pacific halibut, uh, so it's really the mercury risk is very low. We don't get any Atlantic halibut anymore because it's actually been overfished. So the Pacific halibut is actually pretty safe, uh, 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 and it's a great meaty fish. It'll stand up to this technique beautifully but you could do this with snapper or any other white fish that you would want to do right that's a good point you bring up about the mercury you, you see that primarily in, in farm-raised products so and, and everything's kind of uh, been blown out of proportion on that you have to eat a ton of it to actually have adverse effects you right absolutely do so you know if you're eating a couple servings of fish a week you'll be fine I got my fishing shirt on today in all order for this it's my TCU fishing shirt uh, uh, and the reason I, my little my little princess who went to become a frog, uh, Paulina is now going to be a doctor. She's starting medical school in August, and I couldn't be happier for All her. All right, so we have. So a... and she's very nutritional minded too. So she's very athletic and, and was always focusing on. So she's going to love this dish. We've seasoned our fish, uh, both sides. We have shredded potato. And we put a little horseradish in there. Yes, sir. Horseradish will kick it up. Uh, horseradish is actually very help, healthy for you. It actually will lower your blood pressure. Uh, and it's, it's loaded. It's got some potassium in it. It's got some fiber in it. Uh, so this also is, has a little heat in it. It has some heat in it. And so. it'll open your passages right now during sinus season. So that's a good thing for So us. keep that in mind at home. If you're making it, you can adjust the level that you have. We have it mixed. And you were asking earlier, you were asking me a question about potatoes, right? Yeah, so so these potatoes, you know, Mark, Mark, you know, he's he did all this work, I'm sure, himself. He didn't use any of his, uh, his staff, his sous chef in the kitchen to help nope. him or anything like that. But say you don't have all the, 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 the time that Mark does to do this, you can actually get some hash browns that you would normally do from the store. Save or some time. you could get some potato flakes and hydrate them if you wanted to do a similar technique. Absolutely. So, so there's ways to do this and not even have to have all the prep work if you didn't want to do that. And we were talking earlier that you can go a little crazy with this. You can use any kind of potato you like. It doesn't have to be an Idaho potato. No, it right? cannot. If you want to give it some color to it, they've got the purple potatoes. They've got uh, that, that could give it a nice purple color, just sort of a different flavor, a different technique. And that actually would actually be maybe a little healthier for you because it actually has some lycopenes in it with the purple and some anthocyanins in it. So what we have here is you mix everything in a, in a bowl. You put it on top. You kind of press it down until you have it nice and firm, and then you gently want to lift it up and put the potato side down. Beautiful. In the pan. And you want that pan to be hot so it's sizzling and it crusts up right away, right? So you get that, that seal you want to go. You want the potatoes to get kind of golden brown. You want them to kind of stick together. Um, we're not trying to add anything else to it, any flour or anything like that, because we don't want to add any unnecessary... Right, then you'll get all those extra calories and no benefits from it. And through the magic of television, we actually uh, have uh, some prepared ones already. We do. Oh, and this, uh, they smell Look how wonderful. great that comes out. And I'm going to... Give it a taste. Give it a taste right there. Beautiful. And you can see the flakiness of the fish, the crispness of the potato. 
I'm going to get the doc's opinion right now. <laughs> as soon as we get it on the fork. Nice and flaky. It is flaky. And tasty. Oh, that's great. Hey, for me and Doc, the halibut experts, I guess, now on Savor. To you guys at home, we'll see you again next week. Savor Food and Life, sponsored by San Angelo Community Medical Center.